Alright, so it's the... <laughs> it's always worse when I'm at home. It's the 10th of November, and I woke up not, long, not a long time ago. Uh, this is the One Word Gold Brainstorms minicast. I'll put this at episode 4. And let's hope it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm editing the... No, not even editing right now. I'm uploading... I'm, no, I'm preparing the project. I did a first clip uh, for YouTube... But I didn't have any text because I want some text on there. Like a simple, while we're gold brainstorms episode one, so you know what the hell you're looking at or listening to when browsing on there. And um, yes, when it comes to whatever I want to talk about right now, um, gold making and more specifically glyphs, I'm in a crazy situation here where it's, I have, let's see, I got my, on my second account, I got a tune. He has his bank filled with glyphs so that I can, you know, switch bags. And then he has two tabs filled. Well, one, two, yeah, two and a half tabs filled with glyphs. And the bags are currently kind of empty. And that's because I was, I didn't know how much I had in the goddamn mailbox. And um, I logged on and there was four and five days left before my auctions would uh, disappear because I posted... A thousand glyphs. I think I posted three of each or something, and that was kind of scary. I mean, if I hadn't logged in, I would have lost the gold. Well, lost the not the gold, lost the uh, yeah, you know what I mean, the glyphs. And um, yeah, it's right now. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm. I think I'll go for the Euripides standpoint. Uh, I was listening to Call to Auctions, and he's mentioned this a ton. You know, a couple of times or tons of times. But it, it, and it's funny how you can listen to something differently depending on where you are as a gold maker yourself. So this time, I, you know, he said like, okay, yeah, so, um, I think it's episode 40 of the Call to Auctions podcast, and he said, um, you know, if, if I'm not making a profit, no one's making a profit. And I haven't really cared about that, the past expansion, but, uh, but the thing was now, with the, uh, I was posting these uh, tinkers, like the uh, mists cogwheels that you can have in your dragonling trinket. And uh, what I did was, I mean, there's the profit margin is great. So I just, you know, took, you know, I had some crafted since before and checked the prices and just took them down to 70 gold each. Uh, they've been up to, let's say, 140, 150, somewhere there, selling kind of regularly, regularly, uh, but... Um, and then there's people undercutting, undercutting, and whatnot. So, and I've been posting it for 48 hours because I don't really care. And that's also another thing right now. I, I, um, I do not want to babysit auctions. And I, I've been. I mean, it's nine in the morning right now, and I did some posts around eight when I woke up when I was a corpse. And I did not feel like. Well, what I did was I did post some auctions at 12 hours, and I just hope that I keep them up there and remember that I got to put them up, which I probably won't. Um, because, I don't know, there, there's different things in my brain that, that are going on at the same time. It's kind of like, okay, I can post at 48 hours, but, you know, you have to have them up during the evening and blah, blah, blah. Like these old fucking rules and rule sets that I have in my mind. Well, at the same, 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 same time, I should just go for what I feel like. So, I don't know. We're, uh, now is not the time to record... <laughs> It really isn't, but I just felt like I had to give it a goddamn try. So, let's see here. With the glyphs, what I'm thinking is... Oh, yeah, I'm going to... Hold on. Yeah, with the glyphs, um, what I'm thinking is I will... Uh, I'm really thinking about posting glyphs again on my second character here, but I do not have time to babysit the auction house. Uh, I hardly have time to even, you know, recall the... Not recall, but... <laughs> Damn, I've been listening to, I was listening to Convert to Raid and My Epic Heels and Adobe the Shaman was on, he's on, he was on a guest host on um, Convert to Raid and he's on My Epic Heels as a, as a usual host. So I'm completely like, yeah, I recall totems, recall totems, uh, you know, brainwash. Uh, so, and I'm, plus I was taking down the Shaman glyphs here. So it just got nasty. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so whatever. I'm going to post glyphs here, and I'm going to do it. I've been posting in twos, and then uh, the last time I posted in threes, and I think I got 1K total. Like, if we look here, 
I was posting glyphs and I had my threshold set to 60 gold and 199 so that's like 60 to 200 and I got 1.2k that was like posting one batch no undercutting so that means and I mean I was looking at the the amount of glyphs right now and it's all it's almost 4000 you know usually like in wrath it was 2000 something 2500 maybe um including my own posts and now it's 3600 and I haven't touched it so that means that the uh, the glyph market is extremely messed up right now and I and I plan on it being messed up for the rest of the goddamn game's uh life unless they do a big overhaul of the glyph system and whatnot and you know whatever happens so the thing that i'm thinking now with the glyphs is um what do i do you know i need gold uh on this account i have eight thousand i should actually move at least five thousand to my other account but i won't because i just you know relogging and whatever just takes too much time but um and i'd rather use that that, that ooh, use that time uh, elsewhere in game, an example doing dailies while waiting in the LFR queue. So, with the glyphs, what I'll do, I will take every. S Wait a minute, I got my categories all messed up here. Glyphs and mists, monk glyphs. Oh, yeah, I was planning on having um, a different kind of set, like for the glyphs with uh, the monk glyphs, I was planning on having other prices, but I mean, the, the monk glyphs, they. they in my opinion, the prices are worse, uh, so that doesn't really matter. What I will do is I will put my fallback price, like if there's no other glyph up, I'll put the fallback at 90 gold. 90 gold is still profit. I know that there's glyphs that I could sell for, let's say, 230, but then I would have to cap the auction house 24 fucking 7. So, that means I will keep it more on a, like, <clears throat> my god, the voice just died on me, died on me, on me. Uh, so what I will do is I will lower the threshold to 40. Oh, and this is the funny part. I have glyphs, they're taking up space, I've spent hundreds of thousands of gold over time acquiring these goddamn glyphs and I'm like yeah but you know I want more for them I want more instead of just selling whatever the fuck I can and just getting the fuck out Whew, there's a lot of energies going on and as I uh, spoke about I think it was the last recording like yesterday yeah there's a lot of things going on in real life and I'm actually gonna check this word and see if it exists in English um, because if it does, it's actually something that I might mention because it's really important when it comes to family structures, family structures, and things to uh, to be aware of. Really, you know, it's um. Let's see. In English, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, I'm looking for a website here. I just seem can't seem to find it because um, I really want to see check the word. I I I. Uh, okay, fuck that. So that's a waste of time. Uh, but anyways, with the glyphs, oh, I think I'll right now I'll go for 40 gold, 90 G threshold, and get, let's just post and see what happens. Okay. Um, if if that feels too bad, if I start crying and running back to mama. Uh, I might have to comp the comp camp the uh, remote auction house and try and sell that way, but I mean that's just a waste of fucking time. So we know what will happen. I will. Oh shit! Hold on here. Hold on. I got. I actually need to uh, lower my because I have this um, setting where it's like okay, if someone is you know posting at that price, um, undercut them, you know. Advanced settings. Wow, don't do I don't I have the advanced settings on here? <sighs> Hide advanced settings. Actually, I don't I don't use TSM at all right now because um, the way that I play, I don't really have time to you know be in front of. The, oh, there we go. Okay, okay. So let's lower this one. 
to fixed gold amount. Yeah, so my maximum amount of gold that I want for a glyph will be set to 126 gold. I think that's okay. Actually, let's lower it. The greed is going away. 117 gold is my maximum. So if someone posts a glyph for that, let's say 475, I will not be anywhere near that person. You know, I'll keep it low. I'll be, um, you know, doing my own thing, basically. And uh, what will happen is, if I post regularly enough, I will be keeping prices lower. You know, that's what I'll do. And for my part, um, I don't really care. You know, I just want to get the fuck out of this goddamn business and hopefully, I don't know, make some gold while doing it. And I'll post one glyph at a time. Uh, I got to change this on both. And yeah, what I'm thinking now is should I go for, I don't know, fuck it, let's post and see how it feels. Because I think this can work, you know, 60, I got to look at the numbers again, because I'm paranoid, I, I don't want to sell too cheap, man, I don't want to lose gold, I don't want to lose gold, I mean, I've lost gold already, 60, 90, I saw something 60, 60, 90 is a bit too high for my liking, that's not worth it, got to lower that one, since it's on my second account, the numbers are a bit off, I don't have, I'm not using the same numbers that I was on my first account, but I mean, I'm change your strategies here so let's see 4090 one glyph 117 maximum price settings let's go boom group overrides let's check the monk glyphs here gotta move i should relog i will actually well it's not the same account so i should log raise and put them over here and have him because he's got some glyphs too anyways never mind that let's go let's post let's see what happens Right, posting at reset price. The reset price is 90. Actually, I should post it at threshold. Because I, I, I'm not counting on people not, you know, posting. So even if there is a little hole in the whole glyph thing here, I'll have them post at threshold. Uh... Post at threshold. I had that for the regular glyphs, but I didn't have that for the monk, the monk, the monk glyphs. Well, I did. Okay. Well, go to hell. Wow. It looks like um, looks like my mind has been going towards this direction for a while. Then, oh, nice. Just that I haven't been posting at all during mists. You know, doing other stuff. So what I'll do is I'll take a little break because I need to eat the breakfast. Um, but I just wasted your time here. So see you guys later. Peace out. Graze. Yeah, this is Graze. We're looking at the 12th, 12th, <laughs> 2012. We're looking at the 12th of November. 2012 um, and this is the Wower Gold minicast brainstorms wow and this is the Wower Gold brainstorms minicast episode 4 um, this is round 2 and uh, today I want to talk about the LFR and rating um, I wasn't I don't know I should listen to Horde for Life but I mean if I want to record that works too so Episode 56 came out yesterday, and I listened to like half, I think, and it's good stuff. And they had a discussion about uh, the LFR and rating guilds feeling the must to do the LFR. And also, because uh, they had an interesting discussion uh, on episode 55, and they got tons of mail. And... Um, now in episode 56, they're basically defending what they're talking about and discussing things there. Um, and I haven't listened to all of it yet, so... But uh, the thing is... And this is no... I'm not trying to steal any thunder or anything. <laughs> I know that's not even relevant in this case. But... <laughs> no, but I'm not, I'm not trying to... Uh, to uh, recite what they're saying or whatever and just copy paste but verbally um, what I'm what I want to do is take the bits and pieces that I that I reacted on and, and 
and just add what I think. And uh, the thing is, with the LFR, uh, Blizzard added that, and uh, it's here to stay. And uh, they're talking about, on Horde for Life podcast, they're talking about that they should have a different name for it. I'm definitely for that. Uh, you know, changing the name to, an example, Endgame Tour. <laughs> I know the name is not it's not a good name that's why I'm saying it because uh you know you got to come with names that don't sound like yeah this is the for the raiders and blah blah you know you just keep it like a like a tour guide or whatever the fuck you want to call it uh so yeah that's that and um you know change the name that's one and uh normal guilds doing you know they're doing like Mogashan vaults normal they feel forced to do the LFR to get better eye level and to get better gear and what that means is they're beating the content by outgearing it and not by skill. And this was something that they both brought up, Dustin and uh, Rich Fisher, which I thought was great. And that's the fact that, yeah, this was Dustin, the fact that in vanilla, and I know that I saw this in BC when I was raiding, uh, you did not have any gear score shit. You did not have any talk about get this gear, reach this eye level to do this. Uh, well, I, I guess I'll actually stick to Dustin Turley because in BC we did have the, the tiers and if you if you were in tier 5 and wanted to join a tier 6 guild, if you weren't geared enough, you, you had to pray that the guild you were in were farming content uh, in the tier 5 levels. Uh, so that you could gear up uh, and if they didn't you were basically screwed so you'd have to join a guild that was on your level that would progress uh, in order to do that that tier 6 content anyways with the eye levels now that we have um, it, it's turned into a you know reach this certain eye level and then you can do normals and it's and the eye level <laughs> level the eye level that they set is not the eye level that is um, you know, it's not the one that's like after heroics. Like if you get 463 and then you can do the normal uh, rating. It's rather like, okay, go go and get as high eye level as you can. And then you can get a spot in the raid. While, and this was something that Dustin, Dustin talked about was, while in the past you had, you had to have the skill also, you know, to be, you know, to get a raid spot. It wasn't just like gear levels and eye levels. And um, I definitely think that that's the... That, that that's a valid point that he's uh, that he's pointing out, and uh, I think, and, and they also spoke about the forums. You know, people complaining a lot about the LFR, and they they you know they feel forced. They have to do the LFR in order to do normals and blah blah blah. And um, <laughs> now this is a this was what Dustin said, and that's Blizzard basically said that if you aren't skilled enough to clear the content without that gear that you get from the LFR, maybe you just aren't skilled enough, you know, you might not be good enough. And um, to some that might be like, what do you mean? I mean, I have to run the LFR to get better gear. But, but I mean, at the end of the day, uh, in the past when you couldn't get gear anywhere else, um, I mean, that's what you had to do. You had to run the raid uh, or the heroics or whatever, the dungeons to get better gear and then just, you know, add skill to that and then eventually you'd get the bosses down now it's more about get the gear get the gear get the gear and then you know mash bosses down as fast as possible and there's no real challenge in it um and and that's another thing that they really that they pointed out well too and that is that the people complaining about content being too easy easy is the same people that gear up through the lfr and then they go and say oh it's too easy it's too easy and uh, with the normal modes, I think it was 4,600 guilds had cleared normal Mogushan vaults, while only 50 in the whole entire world had cleared Mogushan vaults on Heroic. So that goes to say, like the whole, it's too easy and all that, well, I'm not sure, you know. Um, but I don't really want. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I just think that it's it's important to realize that the LFR is here to stay. And if you're in a guild that requires you to run LFR, you can either go look for another guild, or you link to the blue posts where they say like, "Hey, maybe you're not skilled enough." You know, that's it. Here's the post. Check it out. Uh, what do we think? Where do we go from here? Uh, do we want a challenge, or do we want to, you know, grind LFR and and do it easy mode? 
Um, I mean, that's a couple of questions that you need to uh, to answer if you're um, in such a guild. Uh, I'm in a social one, so I don't really care for that. And the people that want to, they'll they'll gear up as much as possible through the LFR or the dailies. While I'm on a more, you know, I, I do what I feel like, and as long as I'm not holding uh, the rave back, I'll do I'll do it in the pace that I think is you know right for me. Um, I mean, I'm sitting at 4.69 right now, and um, it's kind of annoying me that I can't do Heart of Fear, but at the same time, I haven't checked the bosses and their mechanics, so it's not, because I, would, I wouldn't want to go in there and not know anything about them, and I'm not sure if I have the, uh, the buffer within my mind right now to take that in, like new bosses. Um, I guess if I did three at a time, it could work out. But then it also, I don't know, it's, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's kind of like, why should I gear up, you know, but it's also the whole, like, rating is fun, and even if it's in the, in the LFR, and you have dick bags in there, you still have the, the, uh, well, that's, uh, the fact that I just, uh, I don't know, there's, it's kind of hard to ignore the idiots in there. It is, but I've been lucky so far. And if you if you know what you're doing to a certain con, con, ca, 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 uh, to a certain extent, there is hope, and you can definitely work on things in there. You know, you, you can work on movements. You can work on okay, here's that mechanic. What do I do? You can work on like okay, at which point does the raid seem to take more damage? When should I use my cooldowns? Uh, it might be for DPS. It might be for like. Um, taking damage it can be you know there's a lot of things you can do in there um besides just you know focusing on getting more gear uh so that's the way i like to look at it um but it's also because i, I like to have a um what's it, an overview of things so uh and i'm a controlaholic i don't even know if that's the word but i'll, I'll add that right in there and I'm, a, I'm a controlaholic in certain extents and um that means that if if i can um, get an overview that helps me when I want to do whatever I want to do. Uh, it adds to the whole picture, and as that ho- adds to the whole picture, it makes it easier for me to do what I'm supposed to do. Um, especially since I've been, I've been um, the past. I mean, since late BC, uh, I've been slacking when it comes to rating. So it, it really, me, it, well, it, it really comes down to coming back to the old mindset, or maybe even going to. A new place, you know, uh, setting up yourself mentally so that you reach newer heights. Um, uh, but it's, I don't know, it's interesting. And, it, and, it, and I don't know, at the same time, uh, there's so many thoughts. There's so many thoughts. And my God, the sun, you know, it's kind of, uh, you know, the, the weather is really, oof. It's not warm. I mean, I'm holding my iPhone here, and, and I have this shell, this plastic shell that helps with the, like, when I drop it, and it's really cold. It's so cold. It's so cold. So I'll actually take a glove here. Hold on. And check the time. Well, seven minutes before she dies on me. And the alarm clock, clock, alarm clock rings. Um, no, but really with rating, I mean, it, it's there's so many different things going on, and people are so uh, myopic, which is a word I I caught that Rich Fisher has mentioned, and I think that's kind of like you focus on one thing and only one thing, and it's like if it isn't this way, you're you're basically screwed or whatever. Um, not screwed, but I mean you're kind of against everything else except for the way that you do things, and you're very one, one-sided and tunnel-visioned, and you know. Um, but with rating, I mean, it, some would. I mean, you have two two ways to look at it. Either it's you know down bosses and that's it, or it's kind of like okay, I'm having fun. Now some people they only have fun when they're like in the top tier of rating and really doing it like pushing themselves to the max. And I can understand that, but I mean, it's a game, uh, and I'm not saying that you should uh, let everyone else down. I just mean that you should, if you if you want to raid, especially in this expansion, you got to make sure that you 
do it on a level that suits your needs and what you want. Uh, you know, if, if you um, if you're in a guild and you feel like, hey, things aren't really working out, you know, try and have a discussion, bring in some valid points, and maybe you can change things around. But I mean, if that doesn't work out, you know, change guild. You know, and uh, worst case scenario, change uh, servers. Now, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm. <laughs> You know, changing servers is not something that I'll do easily. I haven't paid for one server transfer ever. Um, I was going to do it on my second account with the Warrior. Uh, but then I just realized that, my God, I might as well use the second account every now and then. Uh, and if I really get into the lull of things and, you know, don't feel like playing World of Warcraft anymore, you know, I can I can always re oh, unsub, you know, and just play one. And I can also, um, you know, let the first uh, sub lapse as well. I uh, hope lapse is the right word in this context because I'm using words that I don't even really know what the hell they mean. Although I've heard them in certain contexts so I can make out with myself on the bench in the sun with the trees and boats and the Betchams and the ducks. <laughs> I won't. Yes. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. I uh, uploaded the first episode this weekend. I'm editing the second, and the second is sounding really good. I did some things with Levelator. Now, this is about edi- editing the podcast or the minicast. And what I did was I only put the vocals inside of Levelator to have them leveled out, since Levelator normalizes the sound and keeps them leveled. Um, and not in the way that you usually normalize where you just you know you take down the high ends and you try to boost like the lower but you know it's just messed up I mean here you really even out the sounds and I like the way it sounds I think it works out really good and I like the way that I um, got the music in there and I know that this is kind of like okay so he's basically using his his own ego to boost his own ego and that's kind of I don't know not really where I want to go with it, but I mean, at the same time, if I feel proud about something, why not, you know? Um, so that's that's cool, especially since it's, uh, I mean, it comes down to getting things done. And this weekend, I got tons of things done, uh, done, done, you know? I uh, uploaded that episode, the first one, editing the second, and then I uh, actually wrote two posts on Wower Gold. One about the Brainstorms minicast. Basically just used the text that I had in, in the um, YouTube channel, since that's enough uh, to explain that. Uh, and then also a little a little, a little Mist of Pandaria 5.0 plans. And that's the current patch. That's not 5.1. And some plans, they'll reach on for the entire expansion, and some plans are, you know, some things have actually come into fruition I think that's the way you say it and um, uh, so that's cool you know I mean I've geared up I'm, I can do Mogashan vaults um, there's yeah there's some stuff in there that I wrote um, and anyways the about rating and uh, another thing I thought about that they spoke about on Horde for Life was um, the uh, the fact that they wanted to release Heart of Fear and Terrace of Endless Springs during the same patch and I really agree with the, both both Dustin and Rich Fisher when they say that. Uh, I don't know why I say Rich Fisher and not not just Rich, but anyways. Um, anyways, I, I uh, <laughs> sidetracked. Um, no, but really, I mean, it's it, it's really because that's how I feel now with Mogashan Vaults. I want to the way that I'm set up as a raider. I want to you know clear content from the beginning until the end and just go for as long as it takes. While most players, especially the ones that care about gear a lot, they're more like, yeah, but you get better gear here, you get better gear there, blah, 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 so do this, do that. And uh, that kind of mindset doesn't really, I don't know, I, it doesn't really gel with me. Um, in Guild, I don't know how, how that will pan out. I mean, we're, we're one out of six bosses still. Uh, we had the uh, Jasper, Amethyst, and Cobalt this week, the worst combination, and we had five, four melee, three, what well, let's see, tanks, two melee tanks, four, yeah, we had... Yeah, so, the last recording was cut off by the alarm clock, 
So I'm heading back to work now, but with the uh, raid anyways, we had five melee total, two ranged and three healers. And what happened was with the cobalts, jades and the amethysts here going on, um, we, wow, sorry, almost dropped the phone. We had um, issues with uh, staying, you know, staying two grouped together or staying too spread and then you had the chains going on and you had to run around things and I mean it was really it was interesting you know it was a white fest and um, something I noticed was if I'm tired it really affects the way that I do things and I need to make sure that I raid when I when I have energy to last because I don't want to and I, I don't, I don't want to hold the guild back and I don't want to become an asshole just because I'm tired because <laughs> uh, uh, yeah but anyways it wasn't I mean I'm not saying I'm, I caused any drama or anything like that I just felt like why am I re responding that way like why am I so um, hot why am I so hot te hot tempered hotly tempered whatever the hell that is right now uh, you know and um, came to the conclusion that yeah I'm tired but you know we kept going and then in the end we just okay we call it um, but it was it was fun man it's fun it's fun raiding with the guild and uh, you know doing progression even if it's I mean we have killed the bosses but that setup is the worst you can get and uh, yeah man it's fun it's fun I'm enjoying it and with the because uh, I was using these uh, sea mist noodles I think it is the uh, 300 agility food that you can make when you're uh, master walk well, master of the walkway or whatever you want to call that. And then you have the, um, whatever the fuck. That just completely fell through the roof. But yeah, anyway, so you have the, the food, uh, 300. And I was like, okay, I got a stack here, 20. And I just felt like, okay, you know, I'm burning through these, like I'm burning through condoms at a whorehouse. So this ain't working out. And um, for that reason, I basically used the banquet uh, a couple of times because I, uh, it just felt like okay this is not i mean because the first three attempts or so we, we did really well and then we had a lull and then we started you know getting back on track and then the trash came back and that was awesome we had a break and then the trash came back so so we killed trash and then we went one more time and then we just oh, okay call it call it and then we went uh what's that rs ruby sanctum heroic uh, killed that bastard and then we killed Sarthra Sar Sartharian and one of the thanks my old my good old mate Krieg got the reins of whatever the hell that's called uh, the like dark blue drake actually looks good so congrats to him congrats Krieg that was fun um, yeah I got a dog here hey doggy uh yes so what else i think that's it for now i mean there's really no time to refocus this episode well refocus this recording sorry um but with the what i want to say is if you have the jasper cobalt and amethysts if you have too many melee you got to make sure that you uh come up with strategies that are um unorthodox maybe even because we just couldn't crack the code and uh but it was fun and I'm, I'm really I'm more for you know bring what you have rather than you know bringing the perfect setup especially if you're in a social guild because I always find it and that, that's the issue I've had with social guilds it's kind of like yeah we're social oh yeah everyone's welcome Ooh, blah, 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 blah. But we have to have the correct setup because you know blah 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 and then you know you go for that approach and then all of a sudden someone feels oh my my feelings got hurt da, da, da. you know I don't know it's just the whole social thing gets kind of if it goes too far, it's babysitting. That's what it is. Uh, luckily, we don't have that. And I'm still, you know, jumping back to Wrath here. You know, I, I haven't... <laughs> I haven't come to peace with the issues from back then. And that's the way I am, you know. But I'm working on it, you know. Anger management. Uh, you know, get that thing out. Um, yeah, so I think that we'll call it there. Um, so thanks, everybody. This is the uh, Water Gold. Brainstorms minicast episode 4. Um, yeah, you know, have fun. Mist is great. Peace out.